Do 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 do. I eat game. Yeah. Hey, demigods. Mark here, and we are working on the vault, helping the Animoy, and I'm hoping I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> it's a vault here in the Valley of the Eternal Spring, and uh, it's an interesting vault. It's you know if. If it's the first vault you come across with wind, it's supposed to be like your introduction to this mechanic, but you could totally, I mean, the vaults are kind of sprinkled all over the place. So it might not be your introduction to this like wind stuff, but it's pretty fun. So let me show you what we do here. Press the button on that pedestal and then we're gonna come over to this pressure plate and it's gonna open this door. Basically they're teaching you the basic mechanics of this stuff which is why this is supposed to be the introductory to this. And it's fun though, I really, I'm, I'm having a good time with it. Now, just something to note, when your little objective is complete in like different sections within the vaults, that little purple gem will light up, letting you know you can move on. So if we work our way over here to these columns, you can see we have these, these winds being blown up. A little tip for you, if you fly into these wind columns, pull back and stay in the wind column so they raise you up. I didn't do that enough, and you can see right here where I almost didn't make it. Because you can't climb these blue surfaces. So it's just, it, it's it, you will definitely need to learn how to do that later on in some other vaults. So when you get in those wind columns, pull back so you can stay within the wind and have it blow you up. Okay, so press the metal, press the button in the middle pedestal. We're gonna go over to these different plates to open up the doors. So. Once the ball gets into the back there, you're gonna hit, the, go back to the original plate to open up the door and then it'll work its way over into its little resting spot right there, another pressure plate. Once that purple crystal has been left, uh, lit up, we can move on to the next area. So let's go ahead and jump into this air column here. Let me see if I could show you a little better like what I mean by that. So pull back just like that. Let it raise you up just like that. Good, okay. Now, this is the part where uh, the hidden treasure chest, it's a, this is, uh, it's interesting. It took me a minute to figure this out, but it's actually not too hard. Let me show you. So that beam, that always shows you where the treasure is hidden, but it's not always easier to get to. Some of the later vaults can be pretty challenging. This one is also a little tricky, but basically what we're gonna do is run up to this high area up here. We're gonna jump, double jump actually, and hit the B button so we can fly across. Just try to land somewhere in the middle, but we, if we can get to this column right here, this this uh, elevated area, then we could fly and work our way over to the other side. Remember, you cannot climb or grab onto any of these rocks in the vault, so you just kind of slide off. So you gotta get the flying straight. <laughs> I, I love the way she opens up the treasure chest, it's hilarious. Uh, it's a, they've injected a, a nice personality and goofiness into the lead protagonist in this game. It's fun. Okay, now we gotta get back. So it's pretty simple. I mean, we're just gonna fly our way around this, but the best way to get back to the other side is to come over here, double jump, and then hit the B button and fly across. Okay, now we need to unlock or complete the puzzle here. So let's go to the pedestal. When you press the button on this pedestal, the ball's gonna drop down on the right-hand side. What we need to do is not stand on the plate I'm currently on, but the one on the left. We're gonna go over there and that'll open up the doors for us. The wind, those jet streams are gonna push the ball around. Now, I'm gonna leave this in here because I want you to see the mistake I made. I kept standing on that plate and it fell off. So let me show you what you need to do. You're standing on the plate, open up the door. When it, takes, when it turns that corner, get off and we wanna close that door in the back. If you stay on like I did, the ball will just fall through. Okay, so be sure you do that. Then once we know for sure to hit that door, we're gonna open up that one that I circled right there. Next, we're gonna raise this column here so the, the ball can roll across. Good, now next what we need to do after that, we need to uh, go over to the door, which is the left pressure plate, stand on it, and then we need to get off because if it has too much momentum, it'll actually fall off. So you're just gonna have to time that correctly. It took me once or twice to be able to do that. Now, let's go to the pedestal on the left. Hit the button, the ball will spawn. It's gonna fall down. We wanna open up that door. So let's go back to the left pressure plate, stand on it. And now we need to lower, we need to lower this column. So stand on the right hand one and, ooh, oh, 
Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, this game has real physics, which is fun sometimes. I got lucky there. It didn't fall out. But that's the path we want to take. So keep standing on this pressure plate. Don't do what I did. See how I got off and back on? It shot the ball off. It could have flung it off, but I got pretty lucky, and it's working its way down the path now. So let's go over to the left. Open up the door so we can fall down. Hopefully. Yes. Okay, good. And then it'll fall into its little spot there. There, now both purple gems have been lit up, and now we can make our way across here. Now, now remember, double jump in the stream if you have to, but stay in it so it'll lift you up enough. There you go. Now you can see I don't have a treasure chest because I did this vault already, so you should have a treasure chest at the end here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, folks. It does help me out quite a bit. Thanks for checking out my video.